Hello Wanderers, welcome back to our Crusader Kings 3 roleplay series following the legendary man himself, El Cid. And in the last episode, you will remember that the King of Castile, King Alfonso VI, did in fact attempt to revoke the titles that we had held under his assassinated brother, King Sancho II, who was a dear friend of ours. And this all played out under a lot of political maneuvering now as you will of course remember we did discover the secret of king alfonso that he has a relationship with one of his uh, family members and uh, although it doesn't say we deeply suspect and are are probably quite certain that it is in fact his uh sister here uh urica who with whom he was having relations uh, that seems pretty clear, even though it doesn't, I think, show um, here, but I'm pretty sure that's what is going on there. But when he learned that we potentially discovered his secret, he attempted to uh, put the dishonor back on us and had our own bishop accuse us of being in a co-sanguineous marriage, which... Uh, essentially a marriage between family members, between cousins. Now, if you go and look at our wife here, I mean, we are from the same dynasty. But to go back and find a common ancestor, you need to go, I believe, to our wife's great, uh, great grandfather here, Muniu. Muniu? Uh, this is her great grandfather, and I believe, or maybe her great great grandfather, and our great grandfather. So we're like, what is that? Fifth cousins, fourth cousins, pretty, we're pretty distant here. So to sit, you know, they were implying that our relationship, uh, familial relationship was much closer than it is, but let's face it. I'm pretty sure banging your sister is a lot worse than, uh, than whatever we got going on. So, you know what? He basically, attempted to outmaneuver us by putting forth these terrible rumors between us and our wife, you know, casting aspersions on us. And we uh, we went back at him with the own evident with our own evidence that we had against him and his own relationship. And in the wake of that, in the wake of this turmoil, he attempted to take our titles. Now, I left it up to you good viewers, as to what we would do in this situation. Do we accept him taking one of our titles? We had two. He was only going to take one. Do we accept him taking that title? I mean, he would have come for the other one at some point, surely. Uh, do we fight back? And we did have a chance. There were a few nobles that would have joined us. I think Soria was going to join us. Vizcaya? No, not Vizcaya. Pravia, I believe, was going to join us, and perhaps one one other one, but it still wasn't enough. And the the overwhelming majority believed that instead we should go into essentially uh, exile here, and that is historically what El Cid did do. Now I think that this makes a lot of sense. Some people were saying we should fight because we are brave, and it's true we are brave. But I don't think that bravery is always charging headlong into, into every fight. There is bravery in taking everything that you have and everything that you know and leaving it all behind to go into exile in a land with foreign rulers and attempting to, to make a life for yourself. That's a different kind of bravery. And, you know, El Cid is a man who is brave in war. But he is also a man who understands that he can't simply charge into an unwinnable battle to drag his entire realm. Despite the fact that we may have a rivalry and we may hate Alfonso and perhaps we suspect that he was the one who murdered his brother, our friend. We're not going to drag the realm of our good friend Sancho II. We're not going to drag that into civil war. Not like this, not in, you know, not until we have, you know, proof that Alfonso was the one responsible for the, for his, his brother's death. So I think that, you know, what we did here was also a brave option. And so we have actually sworn 
our service and our blade to Amir Al Muktadir of the House Hudid. And he has uh, given us a little bit of land here on his uh, southwestern, the southwestern western side of his lands here, Kalatayud. And we are going to attempt to try to rebuild ourselves and we're going to play it out from here. So uh, I, this was the decision that you guys uh, left. But I think that this decision makes a lot of sense for our character. Like I said, you know, bravery isn't always just charging headlong into an unwinnable battle. There are many other forms of bravery. So this is the situation. We've brought everybody in our court. We've got Noor, Omadan, and our wife, of course. Uh, our good friend uh, Alvar here is also with us. So we've got everybody. You know, I brought our men at arms. I gave us our men at arms back. Uh, we do need another accolade. I think I'm going to give it to Briak. I'm definitely, I'm butchering this name uh, once again, but uh, we're going to call him Obadon for now. So uh, I was even given the uh, pronunciation, but uh, it's slipped my mind since then. Uh, but we're going to give him uh, the accolade here. So contender and scoundrel, I don't know about scoundrel, vanguard? Hmm, stalwarts, there we go, contender. And stalwart. Can we switch? Yeah, let's switch those. Stalwart and contender. The guardian of Kalatayud. I like it. I like it actually quite a bit here. So that's what we're going to go with. And yeah, if you got a better name for it. Oh, this character does not serve as a knight. Well, now he does. There we go. Let's get Omadan into that position. Scoundrel, stalwart, there we go. Create accolade, done. So, uh, we've got Omadon in that position. Uh, you'll see our council, we've got Abdul here. We've got Noor in the steward position. Fanez here as our marshal. And our mother is currently serving as the spy master. And she's still looking for secrets here in Burgos, so. Maybe we will discover what happened to our good friend, King Sancho II. Our bishop hates us. He might believe the rumors, not to mention he's a uh, Norwegian. So, you know what? <laughs> Look, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's got something going on <laughs> anyways. But yeah, what are we going to do from here? Well, let's uh, let some time roll and let's just kind of like see what our situation is. One thing we definitely need to do, we got to win over our our liege here declare me region would he accept he would accept that hmm i'm actually <laughs> oh wait no we can't oh we're missing the prestige we gotta get the prestige up okay that's fine uh i do want to sway him i want to sway him onto our side here so that's what we're going to attempt to do and uh we need a successor for for this and uh, Musa, sure, you can uh, take that position. Then let us, uh, let us, what time go? I do want to potentially, oh, we can't uh, petition because he's not a king. Interesting. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, we're just going to kind of try to build up. Oh, and he wants to make us the steward. I'm actually not opposed to this. I'd rather be the marshal. But he is offering us this position. Let me go into here. Which is empty. I'd rather be the marshal, but the steward's going to give us money, and we do need money, so I'm actually going to accept. That gives us a nice little boost to taxes here. And, uh, yeah, we, we could use that. We aren't making very much money, and we do want to make enough money to do our legend here, which we need 240. So we're going to have to hope that we get some good uh, events from our steward. And he brings us in some cash. So, Nor, do your best. So, yeah, we're going to let time roll. And uh, if anything comes up, we're just going to let things play out for a little bit. You know, we're going to 
settle into this new realm and just see how things go for a little bit here. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. I don't even know if I did a cut there, but uh, King Alfonso has been excommunicated by the Pope. So take that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's uh, that's all he deserves, of course. Oh, secret. Uh, not one that we particularly care about. Ooh, France getting some plague spreading over there in France. Oh, I got some plague over here uh, on the uh, Hungarian border as well. Other than that, though, doesn't seem too bad. Oh, that one in France is spreading quick. I'm sure Alfonso's relationship with his post Sete is a happy and productive one. Um, who is this? The Count of Soria. Perhaps we've both moved on. I mean, we're far away from him now, so I'm not going to try to push this uh, friendship too far. We did get a new perk, though. Household guard, number of knights, promising prospects. Uh, you know what? Promising prospects is going to be useful because, one, we need to get a, a child with our wife here. And then we need to get an alliance there with that uh, with our kids so that we can actually potentially beat some people in some fights here. I stop at a roadside stall selling some simple foods. Constance supplies me with different wares. Finest cheese... It's crafted by cheese-making Vikings in, here in Iberia. Hmm, maybe from Clan Stiarna? Who knows? I'll accept your cheese, but not your ridiculous art. I must find these cheese Vikings? What a load of rubbish. You know what? Let's go out in search of Clan uh, Stiarna here and find these cheese Vikings. Scrawny-looking woman is brought before me. However, the pathetic woman in front of me barely looks like a cheese maker, let alone a Viking. Not really a Viking. It's just a lie to help with the cheese. Oh, well, I solved the mystery. I want half your profits and half your cheese in an aged cheese artifact. Uh, I wish we could choose this. I really wish we could. You know, the money would be great. And then we could sell this artifact for... This would probably give us another, what, 55 gold. But El Cid is a man of the people. Uh, oh, well. I mean, the uh, prestige isn't terrible anyways. <gasps> after I arrived back at my castle after a long, lonely walk. Another year passed, another year older. Oh, no. We hear some crashing and clanging. <gasps> Assassins sent by Alfonso? No, it's a surprise birthday party. My friend Alfonso approaches me carrying three beautifully wrapped packages. I will take the biggest one. Ooh, a lucky Castilian coin. Domain taxes? Hmm. We could sell it for 80. Oh. oh, no. Would we just sell our friend's gift? Uh, I mean... Uh, no, probably not. We got to wear it for like a little while. <laughs> Anyways, you know, maybe we sell it later. You can't just immediately sell it. Let's, you know, let's try to role play this a little bit anyways. Uh, the Emir does like us a little bit better. I do want to get involved in some fighting here, though. Hmm. More lover secrets, but we want what we really want to know is whether you killed our king. France uh, is getting into a little bit of trouble over there. Looks like uh, Tule Tula, Tula Tula is eh, getting in a little bit of a fight with some rebels. Leader Ramon is uh, uh, going up, going up against them. Well, best of luck to him. New law passed. Friendly succession. All children inherit. Huh. Interesting. Friendly succession. I'm sure that's how it went all the time back in uh, the medieval ages. Just a friendly little succession. In any case, we're going to keep building up the 
a favor here. And then we're probably going to build up some favor with his eldest son as well in order to, uh, you know, be prepared for the future here. So, you know, I think that that's probably good there. And yeah, let's uh, switch to swaying over his son now as well. We could challenge him to a board game too. You know, we're probably going to do that. Let's challenge you to a board game. Friendly game, wager game. Ooh, I'm tempted to do a wager. Wager fortune. Uh, it wouldn't be enough money. But I am tempted to wager some prestige here. Because 150 prestige is not too bad. Let's uh, let's do this. My martial mind makes me unbeatable? I mean, it probably does. So let's, uh, let's just <laughs> use our martial skills to... I was going to say to crush him. Maybe I should have paid a little bit more attention to those. Well, the better man won. You've made an enemy here today. We'll see who wins next time. Ah, uh, well. Uh, you know what? Let's try to uh, win him over. He agrees that it was a good game. You know what? That's fine. We lose a little bit of prestige. But we did grow a little closer to winning him over. One thing I do want to do here is I'd actually like to start fabricating some claims. There's a slight chance that our liege would try to push some of these claims. So we're going to go for Melina here. Now, I know the ultimate goal is to get uh, Valencia. But I think if we can take this, it's more likely that our liege will push a claim for something that's right on the border of his realm. But here we go. While performing her duties as spy master, Teresa uncovered a secret held by my rival, King Alfonso. He schemed from the shadows to have King Sancho murdered. We knew it. We knew that he was behind that. Okay, mother, you need to return home. Well, to our to our new home anyways. King Alfonso had his brother murdered. Well, we aren't going to blackmail him. No, no. We are going to... Uh, well... Do we put the secret to light right away? You know what? I think that I think that uh, this is something that we have to do. In other circumstances, I would kind of like wait and see. But I think once we have this evidence, we need to expose it to the world. I mean, he kicked us out of our lands. We now know that he murdered his brother. I think we have no choice but to expose that secret. Yeah, so you know what? Maybe his brother, King Garcia, and this is, you know, to help Garcia as well, the youngest of the three brothers, you know, he now he knows that his brother was responsible for for his eldest brother's murder. So, you know what, Garcia, you might need to. Uh, might need to do something about that. Pushing our claims, we could. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I think that uh, we're going to wait and see a little bit here. But yeah, everybody knows now, Alfonso. You might try to hide this. But, you know, kinslayer, murderer, excommunicated, incestuous. This is a horrible man. His vassals must just despise him, I'm sure. Oh, Bogomil's uh, over in Slavonia. Okay. Oh, endless toil. Ooh, look at this. We could get athletic. M mental break, but we get the nice athletic trait, which is actually extremely good. So sweet. One of those rare occasions. Oh, wow. A couple uh, couple people are embracing the her heresy there. Aha. Uh -huh. And look at this. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, uh, Shimena, is bearing my child. There we go. Hopefully it will be a son. We shall see, but uh, but one shall one shall always hope, and this could be our potential to gain a good alliance here. Oh, our allies calling us into war. Well, we're obviously going to accept, uh, and we're going to get into a fight here. What is this? Our first real uh, taste of battle as El Cid? I think it might be actually. You know, let's uh, let's go. Oh, well, okay. There's going to be a little bit of fight in here. You know, another martial lifestyle perk. Probably going to go with loyalty and respect here. I'd like to finish off this tree for the most part. Not going to go all the way to the end because that would be quite pointless. 
Can we get our allies to engage them in battle here? No? Let's see. What if we join up with you and attach? Attach there. Okay. You know, you're not doing anything there, AI, right? Uh, let's see if we can... Oh, wow, look at this. We will win decisively. You know what? Let them just hide. You know what? El Cid is gonna go, and he's gonna do this himself. So El Cid comes back to his kingdom, and uh, he is going to engage in battle just north of Burgos, and he's hopefully gonna crush the enemy. Yeah, look at this. Look at all the bonuses we get to. Oh, man. Poor Garcia here. And now our allies are like, well, if El Cid's gonna go do it, we should as well. Uh, so, <laughs> let us, uh, let us crush the enemy here. Yeah, look, we did it all ourselves. Our allies aren't even gonna make it here. And, and we just routed their entire army. El Cid, you are the man. Look at the details of this battle here. Wow, <laughs> Omadon crushing it. Alvar uh, crushing it as well. Slew a man, captured a few. Oh, those are some prisoners that we can ransom. Perfect. Ransoming is uh, what I want to do. So there we go. Now our allies come in now that we crushed them and barely lost any troops. So... Uh, pretty good on us. Maybe we'll get some money from sieging as well. And uh, yeah, we'll see see how this goes. Things are going well for us. And it's a son. Look at that. But he is slow. Oh. <laughs> Great. Well, I mean, could be worse. <laughs> May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Diego. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's see, Ramon, Alfonso. We got to name him after Sancho, don't we? Snatcho? No, Sancho. <laughs> there we go. Uh, darn. Oh, well, that happens. Aha, and now, ooh, oh. It's only going to cost us prestige for this claim. Did they change that? I mean... Sure, I'll take that. I thought it was going to cost us money and I was probably going to back out of it, but... Um... No, I can't accept... Uh, I can't accept this. Sorry, I'm not going to convert. Look how... <laughs> look, look how much I can do for you. I don't need to convert. Surely, Amir. Surely. He has, a, he has cause to imprison us, but hopefully he won't. <laughs> One can always hope. In any case, uh, the siege is going well. And, oh, look at that. There we go. We got the money. And uh, once the siege is done and the war is over, then we will... Oh, our wife is pregnant again. Maybe she'll have our true heir. No. Uh, poor Sancho. He might be slow, but, uh, you know. Oh, and there we go, some more money. Look at that, our coffers are filling up. And now, oh, we got our ransom. We got a ransom this guy too. There we go. There we go, look at that. Did we get the ransom? Ransom accepted, perfect. Look at that. So we can disband our armies. We're in a pretty, uh, precarious situation but things are going our way so ah oh man that battle was that was a good battle in any case now that we have this money oh you have to have a kingdom rank title i did not notice this before you have to have a kingdom rank title in order to spread this legend well i guess this money can go to to other things here you know what that gives me gives me a thought. We've got a bunch of money now. What if we were to hire a mercenary army and use it to take Valencia? You know what, Bishop? Get started on that. 
because I have a feeling that we might be forming our kingdom a little sooner rather than later. But that will all be in another episode. So uh, I do want to, before we end this one, before you click off the video here, I do have one thing, one last thing for you. Our coat of arms. If you want to try to redesign our coat of arms, because this isn't historical or anything like that. If you want to redesign our coat of arms, leave the leave some comments in the Discord uh, with your with a screenshot of what you want this to look like, and I will pick the best coat of arms, and we will switch over to that. So that will be in the next episode. Until then, wanderers, thank you for watching.